right, we're going to compare several filament dry boxes slash drying boxes. Uh, we've got Polymaker Polybox, the E-Box from eSun, and the Sunlu dry box as well. Uh, and of course we're going to compare them with Tupperware and Descant. Uh, so the Polybox comes with two bags of Descant and it is a passive system. It is really just a plastic box with a cheap uh, humidity sensor stuck in the front and a couple bearing rollers. Uh, you can see I've got mine completely filled with Descant because with this I was only getting down to about 30% relative humidity. With a whole tray full of desiccant in the bottom, I get down to about 5% relative humidity. Um, so this seems to be very effective, but it's only effective because I'm filled up with desiccant, which you can obtain a lot cheaper than these boxes. These boxes are all $70 to $80 a piece. These are $7 a piece. Uh, E-Box from eSun. This unit is pretty decent. Uh, it actually does have a heater in the bottom that heats up. It's got a fan in the back. The big issue I've found with this is you're supposed to put Descant back here in this little pouch. It's not big enough for a big pouch of Descant, which means that it's not gonna get really, really dry in there. Uh, it does have a little heater though, and it rolls pretty nice. But one issue with the design is that there's no guard on the back of this fan. So if you do try and stuff a bunch of desiccant in there, you're gonna hit the fan pretty quick and get things hung up. Uh, it does have a scale on it. It's a almost gram scale. So it's not gonna be accurate enough to measure the moisture loss in your filament, which is the reason I use a scale when I'm weighing, weighing my filament. I don't care so much that you, know, you got 60 grams left on the roll. I want to know did I remove three grams of moisture and it's just not accurate enough to do that. Uh, it heats for like 18 hours at a time. That's kind of annoying too. Honestly, I'm running these things 24 seven. I'd rather this box just stay on and stay hot and me not have to go and touch it every single day. So that's, that's that. Uh, the next one is the box from Sunlu and it just does temperature. Uh, inside of it, you've got the heater that's, I think, in the back or in the front, or maybe both, but there's nowhere to put any kind of desiccant in here either. In my experience, these two, while they do have heating action, they only got up to about 20%, or down to about 20% humidity, which is low, but not great. So these might be useful if you need to actually dry your filament but if you're just trying to keep them dry and keep printing them dry, these don't really get anywhere close to low enough. Uh, again, pure desiccant seems to be the best solution for keeping the air dry. Uh, it's not gonna pull the moisture out of your filament, but it will keep the air dry so that way you're printing, it doesn't uh, ruin it or get worse. Um, for these guys, I've been printing my own design for little rollers. Um, these work really well using cheap skateboard bearings. Um, I can drop them in here and then fill the tubs with desiccant and you end up with a situation like this. And then um, I've got different tubs that have either holes in the top or holes in the side for a, um, a feeder. I'll show you one over here that's in operation. So the feeder is actually on the inside and it just feeds right out into the extruder and works well. Um, it's hard for me to recommend any of these boxes just because the price tag, 80 bucks a pop, I just, I don't see the value in any of them when you can do these for $7. Uh, by the time you buy the desk and fill them up, you're up to like 10 or $11. So you could buy stacks and stacks of these for the price of any one of those. Uh, now you still need a drying option. Uh, I definitely think the food dehydrators or a convection oven is the way to go for that. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or you think I've got something wrong. Uh, I just, I don't see the point of spending 80 bucks on this if you just got to go fill it with desiccant anyway. Also, the lid for this is really awkward and hard to get on and off. Um, because the filament is normally run up through the top of here, you have to like get this whole thing off to remove it to get access to the rolls and it's always in the way whereas something like this 
You can just pop the top off. It's low profile and easy to get to. Um, other issues I had, this guy came with this little thing and you're supposed to put it right here for your filament to come out on. What I experienced was after a while it would pop loose and it would end up riding up the filament into the extruder and then get jammed in the extruder. And you see it's misshapen from being stuck and grinded into the extruder. So I ended up just removing it and found that it worked a lot better without. Um, the idea is there it's supposed to soften the, the hole where it's fed out. But I, uh, again, I think these just work so much better, so much cheaper. Um, yeah, I guess that's the end of the review is don't buy any of this stuff unless you can't find Tupperware. <laughs>